Well, what would you say if someone told you that there was an herbal pill that could make you happy, give you a boost of energy, and it's perfectly legal? That's right, and you can buy it in many health food stores, but some warn herbal ecstasy offers a risky rush. NBC 6 reporter Robin Kish is here with more on this story. And the more you hear about this, the more frightening it becomes, really. It can be frightening, but herbal ecstasy is the latest rage. Here it is. It's a hip, organic, new age way to catch a buzz, and it's a legal high. But is it safe? Some say the product's key ingredient could be a killer. They party till dawn. You can dance the whole night. Hooked on a high. It's just like a happy drug. It's called herbal ecstasy, and people all over South Florida, kids and adults, are taking the feel-good pills to get a legal high. You know, it's like the new wave of like the 90s. The wave is sweeping South Beach, inundating the internet creeping into the classifieds and tempting teens to rave the night away. Designed as an herbal alternative to illegal street drugs, ads say one dose promises to pack a punch of energy. The best part about it is that it gets you a little horny. Yeah, it's, it's, it's sort of an aphrodisiac. On Friday and Saturday nights, teens and trendsetters rush here to Uncle Sam's Music Cafe on South Beach and other South Florida stores, plunking down $10 for five pills. People always buy before they go out. Uh, it's one of our best-selling things. <laughs> These blue tablets are made of Chinese herbs, several of which contain caffeine. The controversial key ingredient is ma wang, which is rich in the stimulant ephedrine. It scared the hell out of me. I mean, Metro-Dade Police Sergeant Charles Nanny used the herbal nutritional supplement ma wang to improve his workouts. He says it nearly killed him. So I go out to my kitchen to make coffee. When I get out there, my whole left side got paralyzed. I, I fell and hit the tile. I couldn't move. He was 29 years old, the victim of a stroke. Now he's suing a manufacturer of Ma Wang, which denies liability, and he's calling for an all-out ban of products like herbal ecstasy that contain it. Lending credence to the idea that herbal ecstasy is a safe product is the fact that it's sold in many health food stores, along with the shampoos, the vitamins, even the toothpaste. You'll find it on shelves in this pyramid-shaped box with a butterfly on it. And when people go to the so-called health food stores, they think that they're getting something healthy, but there's no guarantees of that at all. Dr. Pepe Granite warns users that because there's no government regulation of herbal products that contain ephedrine, taking them could be a fatal mistake. That means the heart could go into uh, a rhythm that it couldn't sustain and people could die. The Food and Drug Administration has received more than 300 complaints of illnesses related to ephedrine containing products including dietary supplements. Reactions range from heart attacks to headaches to a dozen deaths. They are serious in nature. It doesn't mean that we necessarily have determined they're related but they're serious enough that we need to investigate further. The company behind Herbal Ecstasy, Global World Media Corporation, maintains it's not in the business of pushing ephedrine. Executive Vice President Robert Kessler says if the user follows the directions on the package, Herbal Ecstasy remains a very safe product. Many in South Florida seem willing to take the risk. The experience is worth a try. After investigating seven deaths in Texas, state health officials there temporarily banned the sale of ephedrine-containing products to minors. That ban has since been lifted, but soon the FDA could crack down on these products, standardizing labels to require warnings, limiting the dosage, and informing consumers how to use them safely. And we should wow. point out that this is not the same product as ecstasy, which is the illegal street drug. Right. But mahuang we find in a lot of appetite suppressant, herbal appetite suppressants as well, right? That's right. Diet supplements. Mm -hmm. Plenty. Okay. Right. Robin, thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm.